some of you know how they say like the economy the capricorn some of y'all have your own economy okay that's how wealthy you're going to be there could be a vacation to bora bora and the king of pentacles you're going to be in this king of pentacles energy you are going to have beautiful success look at this the six of wands and the magician your money and you know what Honestly, Capricorn, I feel like you're putting love to the side and you're just focused on getting your bag. You're focused on having that wallet full. Chariot, Eight of Cups. Yes, you are fast, leaving behind what isn't serving your highest good, your mission, your light, your assignments. Hello, Capricorn. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Starzy Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is the good stuff coming towards you, headed your way. There's a general read, so take what resonates. And leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings. Ancient ancestors, elders, guys, let's read for my Capricorns. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Alrighty, Capricorn, what's going on here? What is the good stuff? What do we have? Okay, we have Aries upside down. Okay, this is the tower in reverse, the fool in reverse and the emperor in reverse so spirit is saying that y'all have avoided a or you're about to avoid a very you're basically like spirit is allowing you guys to avoid a bunch of tower moments in your life so it's basically smooth sailing i do see that here yeah the south node and number six on the side i feel like you know seeing this here because number six on the side you could be a life path number six right Number six also represents the lovers, Gemini energy, uh, Mercury energy. Mercury is currently in retrograde right now from April 14th to May 21st. If I remember correctly, I feel like rejection really is God's protection. And I feel like for you guys specifically, it's like spirit has blocked access, denied a lot of not so great people people that aren't at your frequency vibration energy so that you can be calm and so that you can continue moving forward with your assignments your mission okay so let's get into the read at the bottom we have the knight of pentacles okay so we have the knight of pentacles and the chariot you're about to take off you're about to take off you're about to blast off here and in a very sensible manner, okay, with the Knight of Pentacles there. So what's going on here? The Chariot Eight of Cups. Yes, you are fast, leaving behind what isn't serving your highest good, your mission, your light, your assignments. Like you're showing a lot of inner strength here, Page of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands. Okay, you... Wait, I, I just want to keep shuffling. Yeah, yeah, Ace of Wands at the bottom. Wow. And the Six of Wands. And the Magician. King of Pentacles. Oh, okay, the Lover's going to be there. There could be a love situation y'all may have to deal with. But I really feel more so... Yeah, Page of Cups. There could be a love situation, but Capricorn, this is all about the money. Yes, it is. You, you're you going to have th this, and you know what this is? This is that hybrid solar eclipse that we're about to have, okay? This energy is very rare. It comes once every 10 years, okay? The hybrid solar eclipse. Even if it doesn't appear like a hybrid solar eclipse where you're uh, currently at geography-wise, you are still going to be able to absorb the celestial and solar energies okay when this eclipse happens it's going to happen april 20th for most of us this happens once every uh 10 years like i said and it brings with it a new wave of energy very very powerful and you guys are absorbing this energy you're you're it, it's like you're this 
it's like you're almost a lightning rod and this eclipse is like the the lightning strike and you're just absorbing all of that energy because the page of pentacles and knight of wands you come up with some great ideas here you're about to get into some really great money making ideas okay this is an entrepreneur type of energy a lot of you are going to get into a very creative energy okay exploring your talents i'm hearing something about hiking like somebody loves hiking somebody loves the outdoors okay so somebody's going to be a photographer outside hiking giving hiking advice okay posting their hiking adventures on youtube tiktok etc etc i'm also seeing cupcakes somebody's going to start a cupcake brand at home business at a, a cottage foods at home business somebody's going to sell their their uh baked goods at like farmers markets and whatnot okay and it's like before it could have been like i'm tired or i don't have time right but it's like this energy is bringing in clear clear focus we saw the knight of pentacles the page of pentacles and the king of pentacles you're going to be in this king of pentacles energy you are going to have beautiful success look at this the six of wands and the magician your money and you know what let's say you don't want to start a business okay you're going to bring in money regardless because this king of pentacles talks about being in a leadership position so for those of you that, you know, you don't want to start a business and you're working somewhere, this is about you getting a promotion or receiving a better offer, okay, when it comes to your finances. Not only are you getting, but you, and, and you know what else? Not only are you getting the money, but you're also spending that money. You're going shopping, okay? You're enjoying your life. You're living your best life, okay? I see it here. The Six of Wands has victory. The Seven of Pentacles, you're going to have that money, okay? People might be asking you for money, okay? That's the thing. And Capricorns you know you do gotta be that that's one thing capricorns that you do gotta watch out for you taurus okay leo as well uh and even i want to say gemini and virgo to some extent but you are the signs that a lot of times in your lifetimes you get people around you that tend to take your kindness as weakness so just be cautious when it comes to your finances okay for others it's like you're receiving inheritance uh, a long-awaited inheritance is finally coming in the payments are finally coming in okay yes i'm hearing also about a lawsuit the lawsuit is going in your favor okay but regardless just be careful especially with certain family members here the two of cups watch out for certain family members okay asking you for finances because it's in the energy and i noticed capricorn that is for a lot of you that's something that you will struggle uh you know from time to time with i i noticed that tends to happen with capricorns because capricorns are very much about their their money their finances okay let's not lie to ourselves okay capricorn the tarot card is the devil you know and the good i i guess you could say the good aspect of the devil ray is being financially abundant having what you know what people what some would deem as material success right so you know just keep that in mind i feel like a lot of people it's like some of you are starting a, a business something from online something from your house and then it's it's going viral it's taking off but then a bunch of people it's like they want to come to you they want your help now it, you know it's up to you it is your money right like you spend your money how you want to spend it right like it's not my money but i'm just trying to let some of y'all know some of these people might tell you that they're broke but they aren't broke they just want to go shopping or you know buy the green stuff okay like i don't know you know just just bear that in mind uh page of cuffs the lovers three of pentacles on the side somebody does want to make a love offer i feel like there could be three people here an earth sign a fire sign and a water sign specifically the third fire sign i'm getting leo aries earth sign i'm getting capricorn or taurus and water sign i'm getting scorpio i don't see an air sign here although the lovers is ruled by gemini you could be a gemini cross washer but I feel like you're putting love to the side. Like I, I honestly, Capricorn, I feel like you're putting love to the side, and you're just focused on getting your bag. You're focused on having that wallet full. You wanna build wealth 
for generations, for yourself, for your family, for your future kids, okay? Like, you you want to be good financially. You want to enjoy the finer things in life. Yeah, I'm hearing a trip to Italy. I also heard Napa Valley, California. Somebody's going to go to, like, wine tasting or something. Yeah, Justice. Ace of Cups. Wow. Some of you are going to buy a brand new house as well. You're going to move into a new place as well. I'm seeing brand new furniture here, a sectional, a massive sectional, $2,000 plus. Dollars. Yeah, it's brand new. I'm also seeing that fancy Samsung refrigerator or LG refrigerator, the one that connects to Wi-Fi. It's like, some of y'all, y'all... <laughs> So, you know how they say, like, the economy, the Capricorn, some of y'all have your own economy, okay? That's how wealthy you're going to be, okay? You're going to be really uh, fancy, I guess, very uh, spiffy, you know, fancy, schmancy, whatever you want to call it. It's something here also, ju just wash out with your diet, okay? Because some of you are going to go out to eat a lot. But you need to wash out with your diet. Yeah, I'm hearing something about the sodium. Like, just wash out with the sodium. A lot of salt, okay? It's like you're really going out and living your best life here with this newfound money. Yeah, somebody is going to have, like, this OnlyFans thing going on. But, it, you know, just because it's only F-A-N-S doesn't mean it's like that. You know, that's for all content creators. Six of Swords... Yeah, Five of Cups, you, you're moving forward. You're not looking back at heartbreak or what hurt you or who hurt you, Four of Cups. I feel like a lot of people from the past are going to want your forgiveness because they see you doing this. I'm getting TV as well. Some of you are going to be on reality TV. HGTV, somebody's going to be on HGTV. Somebody's going to be on like one of those streaming... Um, streaming tv services like you're gonna be a side character on on a on a tv show that's on a streaming service and it might be a little slow at first but it's actually gonna get a lot of traction like some of you are on your way to to really really big things yeah three of cups uh, look at this the ten of cups with the ten of pentacles this read is insane this read is insane yeah queen of swords there you're going to be in this very high up position, the Queen of Swords. Like, people are really going to look up to you because the Queen of Swords, right? She is someone that lives up in the air, up in the clouds. So she, you know, she's higher up. She's in another, on another level, so to speak. So it is something here about like people looking up to you, being inspired by you, being inspired by what you are doing, what you are offering here to the planet, to society. Getting personal trainer, yogi, meditation, hypnotherapy. Like, it's like you are just some sort of icon here. Like, people are just looking at you as inspirational. I don't know how to describe it. Like, your work can't be replicated. And, like, it, it just, like, people want to support you. They want to purchase from you. They want to connect with you. Um, yeah, Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. You might, you might put up boundaries, though, because of this newfound wealth. This newfound wealth may cause you to have to put up boundaries with certain individuals, okay? You might have to be ice cold with certain people. judgment six of cups and the six of pentacles okay this is telling me like all this money stuff that that's like this is some sort of divine inheritance okay i do see that here i also feel like for some of you this is an actual inheritance thing or this could even be like you trying to sell your house um move out of your apartment into into a house closing on a house closing on a sale there could be a lot of legal paperwork uh, being filed here there could be something about register registering your business as an llc some of you as an s corp okay um but regardless it's a lot here about like fast 
like decisions being made when it comes to money there could also be a car being financed here yeah the fool a vacation as well there could be a vacation to bora bora over here the magician yes yeah, so like some of you have been manifesting a vacation i'm telling you bora bora hawaii the Caribbean, somewhere in the Caribbean. I heard Bora Bora, Hawaii. Hawaii is not in the Caribbean. That's a Pacific Island. Excuse me. Excuse me. I apologize for that. But you know, I heard Aruba. I'm also hearing the Bahamas. Like you're going to be living your best slave. I also heard a trip to Vegas. Some of you are going to be spending a lot of time in Vegas, like at the pool parties or the pool resorts. Six of Wands. Yeah, watching performance. You could be a performer yourself of some kind where you're going to be performing singing on stage you could even be a comedian some of you some of you could be like an acrobat okay you could be in the like the Cirque du Soleil or that's where you're going to be in Queen of Pentacles yeah you're going to be hard at work here Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands I'm telling you and and some of you are enrolling in courses some of you are taking courses or you're enrolling in some sort of academy okay this could even be online to gain the skills and knowledge and proficiency necessary to accomplish this great task, to build this business empire, to build this brand, okay, to build this name. Um, it's really strong here. Yeah, the Eight of Swords crossing, what's this? And the Hierophant. Okay, it's very important. Some advice. Just make sure you manage your time wisely, okay? Something here about, like, race against the clock. Eight of swords on the side. You might have to put, like, your personal... You might have to put some, some personal things in your life on hold or to the side, okay? Especially when it comes to, like, Earth Day parties or... Friend, you know, friends wanting to hang out with you. Like, you may have to put that to the side and just focus on your work or focus on your studies so just bear that in mind but overall you're about to be like the magic money maker or something you're about to be the magic money maker yeah these next three months especially at the height of leo season with the strength card there uh you're gonna be you're gonna be like your own economy I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. Like, you are bringing in thousands of dollars. It's thousands of dollars. You are just churning that money. Like, like I don't know what to, what to think or what to say. Some of you could be doing multiple things at once. So, just make sure you pace yourself. That's all I got to say. But congrats, good luck, you know, and go ahead and live your best life. Okay, you deserve it. You've been working very, very hard. I do see that here. So, that's where I'm going to leave it. That is your read. That's what I have for you. I do hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.